Can I? Look, the, the bottom line of all this yeah. is I don't believe that Islam is true. Because okay. if it were true, the Catholic Church would teach it. Which? The Catholic Church doesn't teach that Islam is true, therefore Islam is not true. Because the Catholic Church is wrong. The, okay, brother. The Catholic Church doesn't teach something that's not true. So the, the Catholic Church is always right. The, God, the Catholic Church has the magisterium, the infallible teaching authority. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a debate going on? Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Roger. Roger. Are you running away from me? I'm going to be going soon. Then speak with me, okay? Now, let me give you an example. You did say you believe in the Bible, yes? As the church interprets it. Okay, now let me give you a verse from the Bible. Uh, in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1, in the Bible it says, May, you know, when Jesus is supposed to have died, was supposed to have been crucified, and he was laid in a tomb, all right? This verse is telling us about that, okay? Now, after Jesus was buried in a tomb, after Jesus was buried in a tomb, we learn in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1. It says, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb of Jesus. So how many women went to the tomb of Jesus? Two. One was Mary Magdalene and one was the other Mary. That's in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1. But, but, in the next Gospel, in the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 1, 2, and 3. Who went to the tomb of Jesus? In the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 1, 2, and 3, they tell us Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome went to the tomb. So in the Gospel according to Matthew, there is no mention of Salome going to the tomb of Jesus. But in the next gospel, gospel according to Mark, the hold on, hold on, but, but in the gospel according to Mark, can I just, but in the gospel according to Mark, it says Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome went. So in Matthew it says two women went. In Mark it says three women went. One Christian at a time. My question to you is, one, one Muslim from the, one Christian, I'll talk to you later. Hold on. So tell me, Matthew says two women went. In Mark it says three women went. Give me an answer. How many women went to the tomb of Jesus? Jesus? Was it two women or three women? There were two different visits to the tomb of Jesus. One with two women and one with three. It doesn't say that. No, that's it, it doesn't say that. It just gives names of different. The church interprets it as saying. But the church is telling you lies. The church cannot lie. It doesn't say. The church does not lie. Okay, okay. Okay. Brother Jazakallah. The church does not lie. Jazakallah Khair. Okay. Okay. Did you say. Brother Jazakallah Khair. Did you say the church never lies? The church never lies. Okay. Does the Protestant church pick up the true Bible when they preach the, the, Bible they the Protestant the Bible? So you are saying in the Protestant church they pick up the Bible to preach which is not complete Bible, yes? Ah. So the Protestant Church is not complete church. No, it doesn't have the fullness of truth. So when you say it doesn't have the fullness of truth, you are saying that the Protestant Church is not 100% true. That is correct, yes. Loudly? That is correct. Right. Okay. So your Catholic Church is 100% true, yeah? Yes. And do you still believe in your Bible? That's the church of okay. Come out of okay. Now hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We Muslims say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one and only God. 
right? It tells us in Surah Al Ikhlas, for example, Surah chapter number 112. It says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It says, it says, Kul ho walla ho ahad. Say, Allah, He is one. So ask any Muslim, they will tell you the Creator, God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is one. Now, can I ask you, can I ask you, do, does every Christian believe that God is one? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, next question, knockout question. Does every Christian believe that God is three? Yes. But you just said God is one. So when I asked him, does every Christian believe God is one? The Christian said yes. When I asked, Brother Jazakallah Khai. What a... When I asked the Christian, when I asked the Christian, does every Christian believe that God is one? The Christian said yes. Then when I asked the Christian, does every Christian believe that God is three? The Christian said yes. So does every Christian believe God is three? Yes? Yes. The Christian is wrong. Why? The church can never be wrong. No, the Christian is wrong. Why? Why? Because we are in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, we have England, we have Wales, we have Scotland, we have Northern Ireland. And in the United Kingdom, there are Christians who call themselves the Unitarian Christians. Hold on. In the United Kingdom, hold on. In the in the so in the United Kingdom, we have Christians who call themselves Unitarian Christians. They're not Christians. And their church, they call it the Unitarian Church. Why are they called Unitarian Christians? Because they believe that God is only one. Now, answer my question. You said, I ask you, does, does every Christian believe that God is three? You said yes, yeah? But, the, but you are wrong. Why? The Unitarian Christians. They are not Christians. They are. They are not Christians. They have churches. It doesn't matter. The Ahmadiyas have mosques. You wouldn't are, are the Protestants Christian? Yes. Are the Protestants good Christian? Some of them. Oh, yes. Some of them. Okay, the Protestant Christians who are good, are they good because they believe that God is three in one? No, they're good because they believe Jesus died for them. Ah, they are good because they believe Jesus died for them. Did you say the Protestant Christians are good because they believe God died for them? That is correct. So you believe God died for you? I certainly do. We Muslims believe rightly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-hearing, all-seeing. Okay, answer my question. Was your Jesus almighty? Yes. So how did your almighty God, Jesus, die? No, how can the Almighty die? How? For your sins. He chose to die for your sins. So Jesus chose to die? Yes. Why? To save you from hell. To save people from committing sin, yeah? Save you from going to hell. Okay. Couldn't Jesus just forgive? No. In our Holy Quran, in Surah Az-Zumar, Surah chapter number 39. In Surah Az Zumar. Surah chapter number 39. Okay? I'm starting from the middle of that ayah. Allah says, La taqna tu min rahmatillah. Listen, listen. La taqna tu min rahmatillah. Do not despair from the mercy of Allah. Why? Then it says, 
ان اللہ یغفر الذنوب جميعا وائے وائے ناٹ ڈسپیئر فرام دا مرسی آف اللہ وائے ان اللہ یغفر الذنوب جميعا بیکاز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی گاڈ ان مائٹی ہی فار گیوز اول سینس سو وائے ڈڈ یور گاڈ ہیو ٹو ڈائی ہی کوڈ ہیو جسٹ فار گیون آئی فار گیو یو دیٹس ایٹ Yes. Because it, look, it, God can't look upon sin. It's, it says in the Old Testament, uh, without the shedding of blood, there can be no evil for sin. So tell me, is it true that your God, Jesus, was tied up yes. like this? Yes. Is it true that your God, Jesus, was taken prisoner by the Roman soldiers? So your God Almighty Jesus was taken prisoner by the Roman soldiers. Were the Roman soldiers creation? Was Jesus the creator? So creation, Roman soldiers, they, they took prisoner the creator yes that is correct you, you're getting there you're getting how how does that make sense that god almighty the creator was taken prisoner by his creation okay the roman soldiers who took jesus prisoner did jesus create them yes he did ah did jesus create Did Jesus create the Roman soldiers? So, hold on. Did Did Jesus create the Roman soldiers? So when they grow up, they join the Roman army and they tie up Jesus' handcuff and take Jesus, their God, prisoner. Yes. Ah, so God created them for do do that. Does that make sense? Yes. I think you need to see a doctor. Yes. Because it don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Christian, it doesn't make sense. It makes sense. Okay, so tell me, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything. All right? As a Christian, tell me, did Jesus create everything? Okay, we Muslims believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything by himself, his own power. You answer my question. Did your God Jesus create everything by his own power? By the power of? You mean Jesus created everything by the power of God? What is the name of that God? by whose power Jesus created. The Holy Trinity. What do you mean the Holy Trinity? It doesn't say the uh, Trinity. The, what's the, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, name of God Almighty. What's the name of your one God? Yahweh. Yahweh. So Yahweh is not Jesus, is it? Yes, Jesus is. You're not understanding. This. But you said Yahweh. I'm going to go now. So that's not Jesus. So tell me, is Yahweh Jesus? Yes. Ah, so you said Yahweh created everything, yes? Stop asking all these questions and start believing. The Christian can't answer, he's getting fed up now. He's, he's, I will, he's going to run now. Now tell me, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one and only God. Now you tell me, was your Yahweh the only one God? Yes. Right. And did you say Yahweh was Jesus? Jesus was one of the three persons in one God. Answer the question. Was Yahweh Jesus himself? Jesus was one of the three persons in Yahweh. So was Yahweh three? Yes. So how many Yahwehs? One or three? God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Him. How many? Allah is one. Always one. Now I'm asking you. How many of your God, Yahweh, are there? Are they just one, Yahweh, or three, Yahweh? Um, they are one at the same time. Oh, so they are three, and they are also one at the same time. Okay, are you a man? I think I am, yes. Are you a woman at the same time? No. Ah, so, ha, so how come? 
how come you said that God is one and three at the same time? Oh, so you are a man? Yes? Are you a woman at the same time? Of course I'm not a woman. <laughs> then how can God be three and one at the same time? It's a mystery in the Trinity. Ah, so the Christian says it's a mystery. So, 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 so when the Christian can't answer... The church tells me to believe it, so I believe it. Oh, so the church tells you to believe it, so you believe it. That's correct. With eyes closed. With ears closed. With ears open to the church. Bokmon, Omyun, Fahumla Yarji. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Your eyes working? Eyes are working. Huh? Can you speak English? Well, you be speaking Arabic to me. Okay, tell me. Was Jesus sent for the whole world? Are you sure? Did Jesus say that? He said he was sent to the lost sheep of Israel. But once the lost sheep of Israel rejected him, his message was offered to the whole world. Okay, listen. In the Christian Bible, in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24, Jesus himself is quoted as saying in the Bible, Jesus says, I was sent only, only, only to the lost sheep of Israel. Yes? Yes, when they rejected him, his message was offered to everyone. But Jesus said, only, only. At that particular moment in time, yes. So you don't believe in Jesus, do you? But Jesus said, I was sent only to the Lordship of Israel. Stop all your nitpicking and all your objections and just believe. Do you believe your Bible? As interpreted by the church. I'm giving you a verse from the Bible. Why don't you believe? Because I'm telling you the way the church is interpreted. But you're not believing the Bible. But you're not be He's getting a chance. I'll give you a chance as well. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, he's gone. Talk with me. Yeah, you run away. Tell him come.